Hello everyone, this is Priyanka from Zurich.com and today I'm going to showcase you this beautiful house. It's not just a property, it's an amazingly designed, fully furnished house and I'm really excited to showcase you this one. Complete fully furnished bungalow and it has both uh, front yard and backyard. A lot of plantation has already been done. The best part about this whole bungalow is that it's earthquake proof. They have built it for a lifetime and they have put a lot of thought into it. It also has a basement. It goes still up to the second floor with a terrace. So this beautiful bungalow is located in uh, Sushant Lok Guru Gram and it's very close to Galeria. There's also a metro station nearby and uh, there's very good connectivity. So the transportation is not a problem at all. So let me take you inside and let me showcase you this beautiful design house. It's a huge house. There's a lot of ventilation. It's airy and whatnot but uh, you will know that when we'll show you around. This is a foyer space and uh, this is where you can you know put your shoes, you can have your shoe rack here, uh, you can have your decoration pieces here so it depends how you want to utilize it completely. Then comes the living area first. If you'll see it's so beautifully designed and it's very unique. There's a lot of paintings, there's a lot of space which you can you know decorate according to yourself. Another good part is that this whole house is connected to each other. If you see where from where I'm standing, you can see the sitting area over there. Then you can see the other room over there. And then you can also see, if you'll come closer, you'll see that it goes all the way up. And you can even see the floor above this one. So that's how amazingly designed this house is. The architecture has put his heart into it. Good part is that on both the sides of this house, they have a small park or the garden and just right next to the sitting area and there's a powder room. If you're sitting in the living area or if you're sitting in the sitting area which is separate from the living area, both the people can connect to the powder room. So after the living area, we have this, uh, you know, enough walking space that connects you to all the other parts of the house. Then we have the staircases and we have the dining area which is very close to the kitchen and then we have this cute and I would say such a beautiful place and they have designed it so nicely. If you'll come inside, you'll see so many different pieces all around. This is just an idea how you can design this place but I think this is one of the best ideas you can get. Another part is that because this whole house is so spacious, you can literally have your parties inside the house, you can have small functions, you can have your family and friends all together at one place and just enjoy the time. Moving out from this area, we have the dining area just opposite to it and very close to the kitchen. The kitchen is also very spacious. Well, they have given this yellow and white theme to their kitchen. I would say also black, which makes the kitchen even more vibrant. If you'll also notice, they have not left a single wall empty. Then connected to the backyard. So they have this little space over here. This also can be converted into a small garden or a play area for your kids. And you can also put a swing over here. That completely depends on your imagination and your creativity. Talking about the electricity in this house, that's not a problem at all because they provide the generator as well. So this is the first bedroom in the house, which is on the ground floor. And it's huge, it's humongous, I would say. So here you can have your sitting arrangements done. And then we have the bed. And even after putting a lot of things in this room, there's enough space to walk, dance, uh, you know, do your music, paint, whatsoever you like. Because even after putting all those things that are required in a room, this is your wardrobe space. And it completely depends how you want to utilize it, this area. But uh, this is preferably good for your wardrobe. Maybe you can put your wardrobe over that side, but that again depends on your creativity. Then it connects you to the washroom. There's a separate shower space which has been divided by the glass and then there is a toilet seat over there. And then we have the vanity. A lot of space to put your makeup or you know utility stuff for the bathroom. Now this room also connects you to that sitting area that I uh, showed you before. So here you can see that almost everything is connected to each other. And now from the lobby space we have the staircases that take you upstairs. So let's go upstairs. Now that we're walking upstairs, you'll see there's a little space that you can utilize for your uh, decoration pieces. Completely depends on your choices. There's a little sitting area over here. This area can also be utilized by your dog if you have any. You can maybe place a sofa over here and utilize it like a sitting area on the first floor. So that completely depends 
how you want to utilize it then we have our first room this room can be uh, converted into a library or can be converted into a bedroom or a guest room uh, it can be converted into a entertainment zone now this room can be utilized as your recreational room completely and another good part about this room is that it is quite different from other rooms it separates you from the other parts of the house through a glass which makes it magnificent that's the balcony so this balcony is also very huge or i would say big enough to uh, have your sitting arrangements done moving on to the another room which is completely diagonal to this one so this is exactly the replica of the room that i showed you downstairs because it's completely uh, above that room the whole house is very bright uh, extremely wide and i would say there's a lot of natural lighting you can have your wardrobe set up over here this side can be utilized as your small library if you are a reader from here you can see the living area you can see the sitting area that i showed you before on the ground floor that was amazing and on the opposite side uh from there you can see the backyard then we have the washroom space which is connected this is the complete replica of the bathroom that i showed you downstairs it's in the similar structure and everything separated by a glass the shower area then we have the toilet seat and we have the vanity over this side then we'll move to the lobby again and which connects you to the master bedroom now moving forward that's the master bedroom and this is the first floor lobby from every part of this house or from every corner of this house you can uh, actually connect to any of the other part of the house look at this master bedroom this is huge i mean they have set up everything they have this work area over this side a sitting area on this side then they have sitting area on the other hand also the wardrobe space there's a lot of space because it's humongous i would also like to mention that all the glasses that has been used in the whole house are tefan glass so that's another part of the house or i would say that's another usp of this house and because it's a master bedroom a master bedroom is i would say incomplete without a walk-in wardrobe even the walk-in wardrobe is huge now they have closed wardrobe but uh, it's upon your choice if you want to make them open you have a cute space over here that is a dressing table and then it connects you towards the uh, washroom the washroom is huge because it's a master bedroom washroom so we have the shower area over there separated by the glass we have the vanity and we have the toilet seat the vanity is also very huge and you can place your toiletries you can place your makeup you know over here and this room also has a balcony over there and if you see it's very airy there's a lot of sunlight and also this whole house is designed in a very uniquely fashion manner i would say it's a uh, quite traditional and yet it gives you a little bit modern look it's not very structured it does not give you a, a feel that you're living in a box it has angles to it if you come into this house you will know it yourself moving out from the master bedroom so this one is the cooling system and which is utilized to cool down this uh, beautifully designed sitting area which is on the ground floor everything that has been designed in this house has you know a lot of thoughts has put into it it's very thoughtfully done now let's go upstairs and uh, see the top floor so this is the final floor the top floor now this place is uh, quite separate from the other parts of the house this can be converted into a complete separate space or if you want you can utilize yourself this way connects you to the terrace and on the other hand we have a small balcony There are very less houses that have two ways balcony so this house has that again a huge balcony can be converted into a sitting area you can also convert this into a entertainment area or you can convert it into a guest completely a guest area where your guests can come and enjoy themselves so they also have a kitchen over here 
everything is already provided. So if you will see, they have a kitchen, there's also a washroom and it also connects you to the terrace. The bedroom is equally humongous. It's as big as the one that I showed you before. A lot of natural lighting from this area and they have the connecting washroom on this side. Now moving towards the terrace and the terrace is huge. These are the stairs that take you towards the service place where you have your water tanks and everything. Uh, a lot of plantation has been done already. You can completely transform this complete area. These are the staircases I was talking about before that connect you towards this area or I would say this floor. Uh, that completely separates this floor from the other parts of the houses. Moving on to the basement, uh, I would also like to mention that the stairs are designed in a way that the rise of the stairs is very low. So it's very easy to use them, especially for elder people. They can easily, you know, climb them or come down. So that's very thoughtfully designed. Now the basement is huge. It's literally huge. It covers the whole part of the house. Uh, I mean, it's as big as the other floors of the house. So this is the basement. It has a lot of potential. The owners have not used the basement for quite a bit long. So this one and a similar like this part is on the other hand or on the other side. So you can divide it since these parts are divided by a room. So that's how you can utilize it. Maybe you can convert it into an entertainment area. Uh, if you like music, if you like painting, you can convert it into that area or you can utilize it into a complete one area. So there's a lot of potential like I said. This is another room in the basement. Uh, this can be utilized into a store room or you can literally you know get this removed, this complete thing removed and make it into one. So this basement will become a complete one area. Well currently this room is occupied by the owners. Uh, they have converted it into a store room. So this is the other part of the basement completely you can transform it you have to use your you know imagination and creativity to change this beautiful area into something that you can utilize so this was the complete tour of this amazing bungalow and i hope you like it and if you have any other questions queries or anything you want to ask please contact us on the below mentioned number and we will help you out thank you And if you also want to showcase your property on Zix.com, you can contact us on the below mentioned number. Thank you so much.